In this video, I'm going to show you an overview of the Microsoft Power Toys for Windows 10. Uh, Microsoft Power Toys was a Windows 95 project that enhanced the pr productivity of users for Windows. So you can actually go and get this Microsoft Power Toys utility from uh, GitHub. It's all open source. And uh, you'll need a more recent version of uh, Windows 10, 18.03 or later, and then the .NET Core 3.1 desktop runtime. Uh, after installing the Power Toys MSI is what I did, uh, you'll have this little settings dialog that allow you to manage the um, options of the various features of Power Toys. So um, I'm running version 0 0.18.1, uh, which came out today, er, I think yesterday. Um, so we're going to go through the features of Power Toys, and I'll just kind of show you a little demonstration on each of them. So first we're going to start with Fancy Zones. So Fancy Zones allows you to uh, set up uh, these different zones on your screen to help you lay out windows a little bit easier. So uh, you can edit the zones um, and how they look. You can see this little transparent opaque, uh, these transparent uh, boxes behind the settings dialog are the different zones that I'm currently setting up. So if I click through these, these are where your windows will actually lock to. So if I just select columns and click apply, what you can actually do is hold shift and then drag your window and you can drag them into the fancy zone. Uh, there are options for overriding things like the window snap feature where you hold windows and then you press the arrow keys and you can actually move the, uh, the window through the different zones. So that is an example of fancy zones. There's lots of other options you can use to actually manage your fancy zones. Uh, next let's look at file explorer preview. So uh, there's two different handlers that they've added. They've added an SVG preview handler and a Markdown preview handler. So in the Windows File Explorer, if we go to a folder that has an SVG or a uh, Markdown file, like I have one here, um, you can see I have this preview pane on the right-hand side. Uh, I open that by clicking View, Preview Pane. So once you open that, what you'll actually be able to do is click on things like Markdown files and it will render that markdown file uh, on the right hand side preview pane. It'll do the same thing for SVGs. So you can turn that on and off in the settings dialog. Uh, next let's look at image resizer. So image resizer allows you to easily resize images by right clicking on them in the uh, Windows Explorer. So let's go back to Explorer. I'm going to go over to my pictures and you'll see I have a couple of pictures here and you can actually right click on these pictures and there is now a resize pictures option. So if I click that, it's going to pop up this image resizer dialog. And then from there, it's going to use the settings that you set up in that um, Power Toys uh, settings window to allow you to resize the pictures. So for example, if I want to make this small, I could click resize. It's going to make a copy of that picture that is the um, dimensions that I selected from the, um, from the reset image resizer window. All right. Now let's look at Keyboard Manager. So Keyboard Manager I haven't really found a good use for yet, but uh, it is it's, is interesting. It more or less allows you to remap keyboard shortcuts globally on your machine. Uh, you can not only or you can you can also remap uh, keyboard keys like single keystrokes and so not just keystroke or keyboard uh, shortcuts. So let's actually click Remap Key, and this one's interesting because you can remap things like they have this example of A to B. So if I were to um, put A in here, Oop, uh, A, and then click OK, and then if I want to remap that to B, and click OK, and then save this, it's going to tell me that, you know, there is no A anymore. And now if I did something like open up the run dialog and I type the A key, you'll see that it's now typing B. So I'm sure there are some good uses for that, but I'm going to remove this for now so that I actually have A again. All right. So now let's look at uh, Power Rename. Uh, Power Rename allows you to uh, rename multiple files or folders inside the Windows um, Explorer uh, really easily. So you can do things like regex and um, that kind of stuff. So let's actually go ahead and select a bunch of different files, right click and say Power Rename. So it opens up this Power Rename tool window. And from here we can actually search and replace um, different uh, aspects of these files uh, directly in this dialog. So for example, if I want to change this to PNG versus JPEG, uh, it'll show you which files it's going to rename and what it's going to rename them to. So 
So as you can see, there's a bunch of different options for using regular expressions, using case sensitivity, and that kind of thing. So um, a handy little tool. Some of that stuff could be done with PowerShell, but um, it's nice to just kind of have that little dialog to pop up and rename things. Uh, this is the one I've found that I've been using the most, which is PowerToys Run. So this kind of replaces the run dialog. So rather than uh, the dialog you see here, uh, what you're going to actually see is if I hit Alt Space, which is the default key binding, uh, it's going to pop up this little uh, text box over the top of your screen. Um, from there, you can actually start typing, and it will uh, autocomplete and allow you to select the different um, options that it finds. Um, there's ways to launch things as administrator and then open the containing folder, but you can also just hit enter on the thing that you selected and it will open that application. All right, and then finally, uh, there's a handy little shortcut guide. So uh, some of these shortcuts I actually did not know about. Uh, so it is nice that they have this. Um, if you're a really heavy Windows user, you might know a lot of this stuff, but it pretty much allows you to hold the Windows key and it will show you all the uh, different shortcuts that you can use with the Windows key. So opening File Explorer, uh, Windows Snap, and then launching different icons from your taskbar, that kind of thing. So currently PowerToys is still considered in preview. Um, I'm sure they're going to be adding a bunch of cool new features to this. So I definitely say head over to GitHub and download it today.